Let's take two coils, C1 and C2. They're placed close together on the same axis. We connect a galvanometer to C2. Now, pass an alternating current through C1. This creates a changing magnetic flux. That flux links with C2 and induces an EMF in it. This EMF causes current to flow in C2, but it opposes the change, according to Lentz's law. We can see this current using the galvanometer. This is called mutual induction. It's when one coil induces EMF in another. This interaction, without touching, is called inductive coupling. When current in C1 changes, it creates magnetic flux, but not all of it links with C2. Some flux is lost. Let's say only 50% of the flux links. Then, coefficient of coupling is 0.5. Now rotate C2 perpendicular to C1. Will more flux link now? Nope, in fact none does. No EMF, no current in C2. Here K equals zero, why? Because magnetic flux is B a cos theta, and if angle theta is 90 degrees, cos 90 degrees is zero. So no flux is linked. To improve this, let's overlap the coils perfectly. Now, most of the magnetic flux from C1 links with C2. Let's say K is 0.8 now. Much better. So what's mutual induction again? It's when a changing current in one coil creates a changing magnetic field, and that field induces EMF in a nearby second coil. That's mutual induction, an elegant principle of electromagnetism.